Hey guys, this is VB Theory again, and welcome to the 24th VB tutorial. So today's tutorial is about how to ask for administrator privileges. So if you want to do something that requires the app to be run as an administrator, this is the tutorial for you. So there are actually two main ways to do it. So the first one is, as I call it, the manifest way. So let's get on with it. In order to enable your application to run as an administrator right off the bat is go into Solution Explorer and right click your project. Then you go add new item. So there it is, application manifest file. Call it app.manifest and press add and in here you search for request execution level and in the level you'll have as invoker type in here highest available and DA on available should be all caps and now let's test this so in order to um, tell if the application is um, run as an administrator let's create a function that will return if the application is an administrator or not so go here and type in private function and the name is gonna be is administrator as boolean now that we've got our function let's create a try block and in here you just type in dim user as windows identity and you'll need the system.security.principal namespace so import that if you don't have it already is equal to Windows identity dot get current. So this will get an instance of the current user. Type in again dim principal as Windows principal is equal to new Windows principal and in the parentheses type in user and then we return if the application is run as an administrator so type in return principal dot is enroll windows built-in role dot administrator if we have a problem it means that we're not running as an administrator so now we're done with this let's go on the form load event so go form and search for the load event and in here we'll type in if is administrator it's gonna show a message box with the caption the application is running as admin else it's gonna show message box the application is not running as admin pretty straightforward so now let's run our application and as you can see Visual Studio tells me that if I want to run an application as an administrator I have to restart Visual Studio so I will restart it and be right back okay so Visual Studio just restarted as an administrator as you can see on the title bar 
and let's run our application. And here it says the application is running as admin. Okay, so what if we don't want the application to take the privileges until we want it? So let's remove this manifest. And then we'll just add in a button. Drag that in. Let's change the caption to restart as admin. So on Vista and above, you can just change the privileges if you don't restart the application. So that's a bummer. But the only way to do it is to restart the application and give it administrator privileges. So let's double click this button and let's type in if is administrator then return so if the application has administrator privileges we don't need to restart however if it's not we'll ask the user for permission to restart the application so message box dot show do you want to restart the application to get admin privileges? The title will be blank and the buttons will be message box buttons dot yes no. So if the dialog result of this message box is yes, we're gonna have to restart the application so create a new process dim p as new process go p dot start info dot file name is equal to application dot executable path the second thing is going to be p dot start info dot verb run as the second to last thing is going to be p dot start and then process dot get current process dot kill so this is going to create a process have it get administrator privileges start it and then stop the current process so we have visual studio running as an administrator so the application will start as an administrator right off the bat we don't want that we're just going to build the solution and then go projects and run it ourselves so double click that and it says the application is not running as admin press restart as admin and it says do you want to restart the application I'll go yes and then you get the message box so this is a new instance of your application which is running as an administrator and if we press the button now it's not going to do anything because it's actually running as an admin. So that is pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope you learned something out of it. Please rate, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.